Hi guys, today I'm going to show you exactly what we've been up to at Weglot for the month of March 2022 and what updates and features are now live on your Weglot dashboard. Firstly, we've now made it possible for you to select multiple filters within each value from your translations list. To access this feature, navigate to your translations and click on a particular language. Then using the filter option here, select the relevant filters, combining the filters as required. For example, you can both select automatic and manual translation and so on. This is useful if you want to view your translations based on a number of filters and also helpful when exporting translations directly from the translations list. Next up, you can now view all the activities associated with your Weglot project through a dedicated page, Activity Events. To access this feature, go to the home page of your Weglot dashboard and on the right hand side, under Activity, click on View More. Here you can use the filter option and select user and type of message. This is useful as it gives you a clear overview of any activity that has taken place and by which team member. We've also made a small update on your Weglot dashboard homepage to show the exact percentage of word usage and translations requests when you hover over it. Another update this month includes the glossary feature, which has now been fixed to ensure any rules you make are in a custom language where there's no language provider selected for example, British English to American English, will be applied. Remember, you can find all our updates and changes over on our change log and leave any future Weglot suggestions on our product roadmap. See you next time for more product updates.